we want to calculate our air draft so that we have clearance under an overhead structure such as a bridge or a power cable um, and in order to do that we need a few numbers we need to find our high water and low water values for that day so that we can calculate our tidal range from our charts we get the, our chart datum and the chart height of the bridge and then we also know our own vessels draft and mast height and using these figures we can calculate what state of tide we can pass under the bridge with safe clearance under the keel and above the mast so that the boat is not damaged once we collate our numbers together we have our high water at 4.2 meters and our low water is 1.6 meters and our chart datum down here is 0 0.3 meters now for safety we want to have a clearance between our keel and touch in the bottom so we'll calculate a minimum of 0 0.6 meters of clearance under the keel then we also want to have a nice clearance amount over the top of our mast so that we don't clonk our mast off the bridge under structure and break anything we will take our chart datum as 0 0.3 meters so we can work out the tidal height for the different times of day in a particular tidal period and then we can work out what the water height will be at that time and we can work out if the height of water will be enough to allow our sailing boat to pass safely underneath the bridge. In a tidal river uh, the heights will vary and we are just taking the example of a straight chart datum the whole way across just for ease of calculation. Our next number that we need to know is our highest astronomical tide. In general we can use the mean high water springs for this but um, it is preferred if you know the actual charted height which will be noted on your charts. We calculate our draft from the water line to the bottom of the keel. Most boats, for example, is between 1.6 and say 2.5 metres, but um, Wave Dancer is 1.8, so uh, we will use that as our example. From the top of the mast to the water line is our vessel air draft. Our vessel air draft you will find in your paperwork regarding your boat. If we look at our tidal range calculations, high water is 4.2 meters and low water is 1.6 meters. So that gives us a tidal range of 2.6 meters. So we know we can get through at some point of this tidal range. Using the tidal curve, we can work out when we have a tidal height of 2.2 meters. We need to ensure we don't run aground either. So our draft is 1.8 meters with a safety cushion of 0 0.6 meters. So to stay afloat, we need a total amount of water of 2.4 meters. If we take off the chart datum of 0 0.3 meters to work out how much tide we have, we have 2.4 minus 0 0.3 is 2.1. So we need to be going under the bridge when we have 2.1 meters of tide as a minimum. We know we need 2.2 to safely get under the bridge with a 2 metre space above the masthead. So we want to be under the bridge on a falling tide at 2.2 metres or on a rising tide of 2.1 metres as the perfect safety margin. However, we do know that we have a chart datum of 0.3 our low water is 1.6, so 0 0.3 plus 1.6 is 1 1.9 meters. We draw 1.8, so absolute worst case scenario, we can squeeze under the bridge with 10 centimeters under our keel. If we arrive at low water, we could go through 
at maximum air draft, but might run aground. We arrive a little bit after low water, we can get through. We have to consider tidal pressure calculations as well, as 10 millibar change in pressure can result in an alteration of 10 centimeters in the height of the tidal water. And this is why it is important to give enough safety cushion when you are passing through under a bridge or overhead obstruction. So you have a safety cushion above and below your yacht. Thank you.